Uh, okay, I, we're 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 happening. Uh, okay, so this is a video hangout, and uh, my name is Matt Smith. I am a director at Longacre, and uh, it's uh, Friday, May something or other, twenty second or twenty third, and uh, I'm here on a video hangout with Cordelia Jensen, who is going to be a visiting artist with us this summer. Uh, Cordelia was here as a teenager for. Uh, two summers in what 93 94 yeah and then here later as a counselor for I think 11 summers and uh, for many of those years she uh, lived here in Perry County did I get that right yeah okay welcome Cordelia hello Matt <laughs> um, so I guess I uh, have a couple questions for you about uh, what you're going to be doing here this summer and uh, how you uh, came to be uh, working with kids. So uh, first I want to talk about Story Corners at the bookstore, at uh, the at Blue Marble Bookstore. Can you please uh, tell us a little bit about the classes that you teach uh, at Blue Marble? Yes. So I've taught mostly classes for 8 to 12-year-old kids. Um, most of the kids are, um, they're, create, they're young writers, but they um, want more than what they get in school, you know, they want to expand on their learning, on their storytelling. Um, and so there's usually six sessions, and each session has a theme, like character development or setting or dialogue, and we do um, games or, and writing exercises based on that theme. And then kids work on a story for those six weeks, and um, we write a little bit in a class, and they do some outside class writing, and then we have a reading where they present part of the story to friends and family, and we have snacks, and um, and then and uh, some of the games we play are games like I have some props here, story cubes. <laughs> this is a product placement, and Telltale. But some of the games are games that I have invented, and I, something I used to do at Longacre that I really loved and that I do as a parent is um, inventing games. And so here are a couple of them that I've invented for Story Corners, and then we could play at Longacre this summer. Um, so one of them is a dialogue game, and I give kids, like, um, you know, ten objects, such as, like, can you see this spoon? <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, an apple. And then they have to have, uh, make a dialogue with these two random objects and then present it to the group. Or for like character development, I'll have like a, this whole, a lot, a lot of images of different kinds of characters, like this guy. And this is a favorite. She's crazy looking. And these guys. And then I'll have them all lined out on the table. And kids will pick. Uh, a couple characters to write about, and then we have to guess who they're writing about. So that's that's a fun one. And then another one we play with setting is to just we we look at a scene like this. I take a lot from National Geographic, and they have to you know write a scene that corresponds to that setting. So that's like an example of things that we do. Um, most of like what I teach is what I learned on my MFA program. I have an MFA in writing for children and young adults, and I actually take a lot of my material, my like teaching material from that, and just um, like uh, make it younger. Like you know, I don't teach at, at the graduate level, but it's pretty it's pretty close. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what we do. With Story corners. I have done a couple of workshops for teenagers, but it's easier to get a younger crowd to the bookstore. And actually, I found, although I worked a lot of my life with teenagers, the 8- to 12-year-old set I really like. They're super enthusiastic and excited, and a lot of them are really serious uh, writers and have great ideas. That's my dog barking. Sorry. It sounds like you have a, a large, vicious dog in the background there. <laughs> Surely, my very small pup. Um, yeah, I don't know. Does that answer well, Yes, it does. I know that we sent you the questions beforehand. Um, I'm wondering now if I can uh, ad-lib. Yes, just ad-lib. Excellent. 
Uh, so when you say uh, writers, um, how much uh, experience or interest do these uh, kids have? I know because I know that you know we have little mathematicians and we have little engineers and and uh, little writers. So I guess I'm curious, like how do what I mean? If uh, are what are what are the parents? Is, is writers like is it actually part of their identity at this point, or or are they just exploring? How some of them is part of their identity. I mean, some of them are really serious about writing. Like they enter contests and they um, are really motivated. Some of them just like to, uh, like to read and write and don't get enough of it at school. Um, so they just are looking for um, like more time to 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 uh, devote to it. And then some I've had are who are less motivated um, and less excited about it. And I think that their parents just sign them up because. They want them to, to do it. Um, and that doesn't work out as well, I think. I think it's better when the kids are um, more self-motivated. How, how much does uh, reading correlate with writing? Is that, is that a strong correlation where if they do a lot of reading, they're also going to be doing a lot of writing? Or are there some people who like to read a lot and uh, don't like to write? And conversely, can you be like a not very excited reader but I'll be a good writer? What's the correlation there? I think all those things exist. <laughs> I mean generally the kids who sign up for my class are avid readers and writers. Um, for me that, al that always went together. Um, uh, but you know like I, I've known other people who don't like to read very... I think as a, as a real serious writer you have to read a lot because that's like how you figure out what you're doing. I mean, you, you learn from reading. You can approach a book like, I'm just reading for fun, or you can approach a book like, I'm learning how to write a uh, setting well from this book. Uh, what, do you, what do you like about working with tweens in, in writing, how, helping them become better writers? Um, I mean, I think the enthusiasm is the main thing. Um, and I really like, I do do a, like a feedback portion of it that's, uh, you know, the kids listen to each other's work and then they say one thing that they liked about the about their writing and then one question that they have. And we go around as a group, sort of similar to Longacre, except in a creative form. And um, they are often like really articulate, articulate and really good listeners and respectful of each other. and. Um, and get really into each other's stories over the over the time period. You know, they want to know um, what's going to happen to to this person's main character and what's going to happen. Um, what's the mystery? <clears throat> um, so, um, I, I saw this study uh, the other day around creativity and how um, we as humans are are most creative on in the aggregate in our uh, almost in our in our early childhood and then we sort of lose our creativity as we move through uh, school um, I'm wondering if you find the kids who are 8 to 12 to be more open-minded or off the wall or crazy in their in their uh, uh, writing than than older kids or, or adults do they have better imaginations well, I don't I, I mean I think that they're certainly freer and they're not None of the people I've had, well, very few have been scared to write, you know, whereas I know a lot of serious writers who are, you know, they'll, they'll procrastinate or they're intimidated to sit down and, and do the work, whereas all those, all the kids I've had are just, they don't have that same kind of self-consciousness, like it, this has to be a perfect thing that I'm writing. Um, so I think that's great. I do think 8 to 12 year olds are in a different um, life stage than before 8, so... <laughs> you know, they become abstract thinkers, and a lot of what they're writing is a reflection of the world they see around them. So sometimes that can actually be um, less creative sometimes or less imaginative because they're taking, often they'll, they'll actually um, write, like, the story that they are reading or the oh. TV show that they saw. Like, they'll, they'll imitate, which is actually, you know, like an artist, you know, draws, like, you know, paints a picture like Van Gogh in order to understand how Van Gogh works. It's actually not a, a bad thing. It's just a, um, I think that's like a life stage thing. And they might not um, even find, like, do something 
I, I definitely have kids who have like a really distinct writing voice, but I think that's probably more unusual at this stage. It's more like an exploration. Um, how how many years have you been um, uh, doing story corners? I guess two years. All right. And do you do you have any idea about whether they're going to stick with this kind of thing in as students in in high school or whether this was a temporary interest? Um, I mean, I think it, again, it depends on the depends on the kids. I've had kids take my class. I had one kid take every class that I've taught. So, you know, I've had most of the kids take it at least twice. Okay. So it's definitely, um, you know, because they I, can move at different paces, I guess. Yeah, I, some might never. I don't know. It's hard. That's a hard question to answer. <laughs> There's a range. Um. How has uh, your own experience as a writer over the the past two years uh, informed your teaching? Do you do you see it uh, evolving? Yeah, I was thinking about that. That's a hard one for me. I definitely see how my experience as a student helps me as a teacher because I take so much of what I've learned and teach it. Um, I think I guess the biggest thing when you're a writer is that you spend more time, or I spend more, even more time revising than drafting, you know, like in that initial creative stage, but I hardly get to the, I hardly ever get to the stage with the kids where they are revising, I only get to the first round, um, and I'm actually starting a um, kids lit journal for the neighborhood, and I think that will help, you know, because I'll get to like a more of an editing and revising stage and, and be able to teach that writing isn't just about like, it's not all fun and games, <laughs> it's, well, it's really, it's hard work. Um, but, yeah. Well, uh, Cordelia, we're very excited to uh, have you this summer and, and honored that you would, uh, you would visit uh, and, and uh, share your expertise with our kids. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll be seeing you again soon. Great. Bye. Bye.